Okay, so here we shall give some examples on the applications of the theorems on on uh, increasing and decreasing functions. So the first example is it is asked to show that the function f show that the function f given by given by f of x equals to x cube minus 3x square plus 4 4x where x belongs to r is increasing on all real numbers r is increasing on the r where r is the set of all real numbers so now therefore we need to find f dash x since why according to the theorem it is told that if f dash x is greater than 0 then it is increasing and if and if uh, f dash x x is less than 0 then it is decreasing if f dash x is greater than 0 then it should be increasing and if f dash x is less than 0 then it should be decreasing so now here f dash x means it is t by dx of x cube minus 3x square plus 4x <laughs> so that will be equal to d by dx of x cube that is 3x square minus d by dx of 3x square that is 6x plus d by dx of 4x that is plus 4 plus 4. So now therefore f dash x that can be written as 3 in 3x square minus 6x plus 3 plus 1. So this can be written as 3 into x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 1. So this will be 3 into x minus 1 whole square plus 1. So now some square of any real number that should be always greater than or equal to 0. So this plus 1, this should be always greater than or equal to 1. So therefore f dash x that is always greater than or equal to 1, it means dash x is always coming greater than or equal to 1. So f dash x will be always greater than or equal to 0 also for all x belongs to r so i can say so hence the function f is increasing on the set of real numbers r hence proved then the second example is <laughs> then suppose it, uh, suppose it is asked that find the intervals Find the intervals in which the function in which the function f given by f of x equals to 4x cube minus 6x square minus 72x plus 30 is increasing and or decreasing now therefore we have that function f of x that is equal to 4x cube minus 6x square minus 72x plus 30 sorry plus it will be 30 so it means that f dash x that will be equal to 12x square minus 12x minus 72. So that is equal to 12 into x square minus x then minus 6. So this is f dash x. Now therefore f dash x is coming equal to 12 into x square minus x minus 6. Now this quadratic expression can be factorized it is it will be x minus 3 into x plus 2 now therefore if if i take f dash x will be equal to 0 so it means that 12 into x minus 3 into x minus x plus 2 will be equal to 0 it means that x will be either equal to minus 2 or 3 
So therefore, if we take these two numbers on the number line, this is minus two, this is three, and this will go till plus infinity, and this will go till minus infinity. So then, uh, so now, so now, therefore, if we take, if we take, suppose some number in in between minus two and three let's say if you take x equal to zero then f dash x will be equal to 12 into zero minus three to zero plus two so it will be minus six into 12 so this is less than zero so therefore f dash x is less than zero for all values of x in the closed interval in the interval minus two to three so in this interval, it is decreasing, decreasing function. And therefore, f dash x will be always greater than zero. Suppose if you take some, some value which is uh, more than three, suppose if you take x equal to five. So for x equal to five, f dash x will be obviously greater than zero. And also some value if you take which is less than minus two. Suppose if you take for x equal to minus three, then for that f dash x will be obviously um, obviously greater than zero only. So therefore f dash x will be greater than zero for all values of x belongs to minus infinity to minus two union three to infinity. So in this interval it is increasing. So therefore the answer for part A is the function f, the given function f is increasing is increasing in the intervals in the intervals minus infinity to minus 2 and in 3 to infinity. And the answer of the second part is the function f function f is decreasing in the interval decreasing in the interval minus 2 to 3 so hope you have understood so we can solve one more example here so that is suppose if it is asked find the intervals find the intervals in which the function given by function given by f of x equals to sine 3x where x belongs to the closed interval 0 to pi by 2 is uh, increasing and second is decreasing So now therefore sine 3x, now therefore the function we have f of x is sine 3x. So now therefore we have to find f dash x. So therefore, or suppose if we change the function slightly, suppose uh, f of x, Suppose if it is asked, uh, the intervals in which the function f given by f of x equal to sin x plus cos x, where x belongs to the closed interval 0 to 2 pi is increasing or decreasing. So here the function f of x is sin x plus cos x. So therefore f dash x that will be equal to cos x minus sin x. So now if I put f dash x equal to 0, so this implies that cos x equal to sin x. So it means that tan x will be equal to 1. So from here we get x belongs to so here x will be equal to n pi plus pi by 4 
n pi plus pi by 4 where n belongs to z. So this is the general solution of this trigonometric equation, general solution. So now here we can put n equal to n as any integer. So now if I put n equal to 0, then x will be equal to pi by 4, which obviously belongs to this open, uh, which belongs to this closed interval 0 to 2 pi. And if I put x n equal to 1, n equal to 1, then x will be equal to uh, pi plus pi by 4, which will be 5 pi by 4. And if you put n equal to 2, then it will be it will be greater than 2 pi. So we can't take that. So this x equal to pi by 4 and so therefore x should be equal to pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4. Since why? Since these belongs to the given closed interval 0 to 2 pi. That's why you should take these two only. So now if we draw the number line, now this is pi by 4. This is 5 pi by 4. And here we have 2 pi. Here we have 0. So now, um, so now, therefore, here we, we get three disjoint intervals. We get three disjoint intervals which are which are uh, one is 0 to pi by 4 and then uh, pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 and then 5 pi by 4 to 2 pi so now therefore some value if we take which is greater than pi by 4 but greater than pi by 4 but less than 5 pi by 4. So suppose if you take 2 pi by 4 which is uh, so, so therefore at x equal to pi by 2 suppose if you take. So at x equal to pi by 2 f dash x will be equal to uh, cos pi by 2 minus sin pi by 2. Cos pi by 2 is 0 and sin pi by 2 is 1. So therefore this will be equal to minus 1 which is less than 0. So therefore for Therefore, I can say that f dash x will be less than 0 for all values of x belongs to the open interval pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4. So in this interval, it is negative. So in this interval also, it will f dash x will be positive and this interval f dash x will be positive. So Therefore, for all x belongs to 5 pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4. So in this interval, f of x is decreasing. f of x is decreasing. And then, suppose if you take for x equal to, suppose slightly more than 0 but less than pi by 4. Suppose uh, if you take... Um, Okay, suppose if it takes like okay, suppose if it takes slightly more than five pi by four, which and it is less than two pi, that is suppose six pi by four, that is three pi by two, suppose. So for x equal to three pi by two, f dash x will be equal to cos three pi by two minus sine three pi by two. So this will be cos pi plus pi by 2 that is so that is 0 minus sine 3 pi by 2 so pi plus pi by 2 this will be minus 1 so this will be 1 which is greater than 0. So 3 pi by 2 belongs to this interval 5 pi by 4 to 2 pi so therefore we can say that f dash x will be greater than 0 for all values of x belongs to the intervals 0 to pi by 4 and also union 5 pi by 4 to 2 pi. So therefore in these two intervals the function is increasing. Therefore the answer for the part A is that the function f the function f 
is increasing function f is increasing in the intervals in the intervals 0 to pi by 4 and from 5 pi by 4 to 2 pi and the answer for the second part is the function is decreasing the function f is decreasing in the open interval in the interval which is pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 since why in this range the f dash x is less than 0 so this is the final answer so hope you have understood the concept how to find the how to apply the theorem to find in which intervals a given function is increasing and and decreasing thank you